Doctor, we hear a lot about uh, a lot of bad things about genetically modified uh, food, GMOs. Why is that bad? And do we know, since it's a relatively new science, do we know the long-term effects yet? We, uh, there's a couple of answers that are really, really important that people get these answers. Mm -hmm. First of all, the answer is Jeffrey Smith. Jeffrey Smith, the author of Seeds of Deception, the most sold book of its kind of all times. Jeffrey is one of the most fundamental researchers on Earth being capable and able to talk about GMO foods, genetically modified foods. Now imagine Monsanto started to put pesticides into seeds so that the plant grows a pesticide. So if the pests are eating it, they are dying. OK, would you go home and take your roach or spider spray? or the spray that's made to kill fleas or flies mm -hmm. or whatever, and use it orally and spray it into your mouth and say, I, I think it does something good. You know, it, it might kill some bacteria in my mouth. You're going to have MS or cancer or mm, uh, Parkinson's or something, some neurological disease really, really fast. And when you understand that that's what you eat, I mean, I'm going to come to the genetically modification and, and all that dangers. But if you just think about the pesticides that's in the corn you eat, it's in the granola oil, it's in anything that, that's genetically modified. You eat the pesticides that kills the pests, mm. just for common sense sake. So now, genetically modified food, it says genetically modified. How come we can digest everything the Earth's growth? Because we are part of that Earth. It's, we are like humans are like pigs, and I don't mean pigs in the way of a negative uh, connotation. Pigs eat everything and they can digest everything. Humans, we have a very similar digestive tract, like pigs. Mm. We can pretty much digest everything, as long as it's natural. My dear friend, Miss Australia, a great, a great friend, a TV uh, and a movie personality is speaking with me tomorrow mm -hmm. and on Sunday. Uh, she wrote a book called The Earth Diet. And you wouldn't believe, she is Miss Australia. She is one of the most beautiful girls in the world. She is perfectly healthy, perfectly fit. And she eats everything, chocolate. She makes her own peanut butter cups. But everything, the way it grows, Nothing is chemically altered or in any way, shape, or form modified. And this girl eats more than I do, and I like to eat, believe me. And this girl is skinny and, and perfectly healthy. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying that because we're talking about the opposite of genetically modified food. Now, here's the real answer. We cannot digest anything that's genetically modified because we do not have the fitting enzymes to digest it. Now the body is basically handing it as toxic waste. And this is what's so dangerous. The, 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 the dead mutation in the food, that food is now dead and mutated, filled with pesticides or whatever it might be. The body has no idea what to do with it. Keeps on producing enzymes, trying to get, produce biochemical and neuroelectrical neuro, uh, reactions to somehow get rid of it. Digestion is the main cause of loss or the main use of energy. Digestion takes the most energy out of us. But now usually you digest for a certain amount of time and then you stop. But with genetically modified food, it's in your body for hours or days or weeks and the body keeps on trying to get rid of it. There are toxic gases being created by this, by this process of rotting away. The food is not being digested, it's rotting away. And constantly producing toxins and toxic gases. And this has got where, where, where just one element of this starts. So now, and, and you know you, you might think, oh, okay, Dr. Coldwell just lost it. We are in frequency what we eat. I learned, I, I, I studied with African 
witch doctors or medicine men. I studied with American native Indian medicine men. I studied with all the healers in the world to, to create my instinct-based medicine system. And I found out that, that all healing powers are just caused on the same route with using the same powers. No matter if they call it mm. voodoo or whatever they call it, it's really, if it works, it's the same, it's the same kind of mm. power. And when I, when I even uh, uh, worked very close with, with a couple of, of um, uh, medicine men here in the US. And they told me, do you remember that in old movies, sometimes in old Western movies, the, the Indians killed a buffalo and they apologized and they, they prayed with the buffalo and said, Brother Buffalo, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I had to kill you, but I had to live. And don't be upset. And I was thinking about this as a kid even. I'm thinking, that's really eerie. You know, they kill it, they eat it. So what? You know, it's dead. But then the, the, the medicine man explained to me, everything has a vibration. And this vibration, everything that we eat changes our vibration. So we come frequently as a frequency. Everything in life is frequency and vibration. That's all there is. It, it's light and sound. And we adapt to the frequency or the frequency adapt to us from anything we eat. And the more I studied that, the more scientific sense it all of a sudden made. All of a sudden, mm. it didn't sound so absurd anymore. No, because the Indian prayed to the buffalo or with the buffalo to, to harmonize the frequency to not make it its enemy, to not have something like, like when, when, you, when you kill an animal in a horrible situation in a slaughterhouse and the animal is really, really terrified and knows it's going to die. It produces all these stress hormones, adrenaline and everything. It's all over the body and that's what we eat. That's why it's mm. so highly toxic. That's why a healthy environment uh, where this poor animal, yeah, this animal got killed and yeah, yes, I eat meat. So, so I'm not kind of like a there's people out there saying, never eat meat. But there's no reason to torture the animal. You just, you know, if you have to slaughter it, do it humanely. And then you also don't have all the toxins in the meat from the stress hormones and all these mm -hmm. biochemical, neurochemical reactions. And with a genetically modified food, what, what Monsanto is doing is basically two things. They poison our natural crop they poison our natural seed. They have been accused of artificially infestating fields from, from farmers that grow natural corn, natural food, and uh, then sue them for patent infringement, saying you're using, you're abusing our patents, you're growing our seeds. And it's said that they blew it on, the, on these fields to later to come back and basically tell these, these farmers they have to destroy their crop and their seeds and buy their seeds only from them, otherwise they get million dollar lawsuits for, for patent infringement. Mm -hmm. What the plan seems to be is to take over the world food supply and make sure we have only food left for Monsanto, only genetically modified food. We know for a fact, at least I know for me, in my opinion as a fact, and Jeffrey Smith can really, really tell you a lot about this. Genetically modified food will cause cancer. I am sure that it's only a matter of time of years, three to seven years of eating genetically modified food to develop cancer. It's a foreign object. We cannot digest it. The body doesn't know what it is and what to do with it. But also it changes our frequency, like the microwave oven. And it has no nutritional value to certain points. Then on the other end, remember there's a pesticide coming with it. You're eating what kills the bugs with your food. Mm -hmm. So everything, Scott, what's really, really important for your viewers to understand. Many, many, many experts in the world confirming that in their opinion I have the highest cancer cure rate in the world. I have the highest cure rate for terminal disease period as I believe and many, many experts believe. And the reason is that I have a philosophy 
one of the main reasons. If it didn't exist 150, 200 years ago, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. You don't want it. You don't want to eat it. You don't want to have it. You don't want to have it done to you. Because in 1900, there was a 7% cancer rate. Today, we have a 56% cancer rate. Every second person in America has cancer or will get cancer. So wait a second. What did they do different in 1900? Now they are saying, oh, today's people grow older. That's why our cancer risk is so much higher. The most people that have colon cancer are 24 to 28. So that doesn't work. They have all these excuses, and that's how they abuse the mainstream media that they control to get all these lies and disinformation out there. But Scott, everything that's natural nourishes us. If, if it's organic and you juice it, it gives you the, all the power and life on earth. If it's, it needs to be organic, now you always have to add it, non-GMO. Mm -hmm. And it is just so horrible, and, and, and the, you, the horrible tricks they are using was all natural. All natural means nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember, they, they, they put on the seven up all natural for a couple of weeks until people were so upset about that because everything by definition is all natural. Mm -hmm. It means nothing. You know, and, and your plastic cap is all natural. Try to eat it. <laughs> and we need to just put more emphasis on non-GMO food, and there is a law coming up that's going to be voted on in California mm -hmm. really soon. And people who are watching this, please research Seeds of Deception, Jeffrey Smith, and read his books, go to his website. He has a lot of videos on there. Sign up for his free newsletter. He is fighting out there a fight that I'm fighting all my life for cancer patients. We have death threats. We have, I mean, I've been shot at, my car has been bombed. We have up to 27 death threats a day. Our office now jokes with these people. When they call up and they just say, come by, can you kill us now? You know, we're waiting, we're bored, come over here. Because that's how absurd it's got. And Jeffrey is in the same spot. And he was a lone fighter out there. He got it before any of us got it. I didn't even get it. Jeffrey got me on it. And that's why I'm saying we need to communicate more with each other and stick together. Even if somebody is a tree hugger that I always thought, I'm not talking to a tree hugger, please go shower and get something else in Birkenstock <laughs> shoes. And today I'm thinking, wait a second. That person said just runs me really, really smart, back to nature. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm saying back to nature too, just in a different way. So let's come together. Mm -hmm. And so stay away. Mod genetically modified food, GMO food, under no circumstances, not one single time, can be accepted as food. It will kill you. Not maybe, it will kill you. 